In January, we took a last minute trip to Cancun, Mexico with the kids. The last time we went down south to an all-inclusive, I was pregnant with Lincoln. So this was the first time the kids were going. We already knew they loved the beach, so we were excited to share this experience with them. Lucky for us, we left Canada during one of the coldest weeks this winter so far. Unlucky for us, we also left right after a huge snowstorm, which meant our arrival to Cancun was less than desirable. However, the five days of fun in the sun, enjoying poolside drinks and copious amounts of delicious food more than made up for it. Join us while we enjoy a five-day vacation at Dreams Riviera in Puerto Morelos, Mexico. I guess this is why they do valet, because we're actually gonna put our jackets in the van, right, guys? Yeah. How are you guys doing? Where are we going? Mexico, Cancun. Cancun. Okay, good morning, Lincoln. Good morning. How was the flight into Cancun? Terrible. <laughs> terrible. Why was it terrible? How was the trip into Cancun? Good. Good? What was the best part? I'm swimming. Swimming? No. We didn't even go swimming yet. We haven't even gone swimming yet. <laughs> you silly. Okay, there's something right there, I don't know. Uh-oh. <laughs> no, it's fine, it ran away. Oh, no, it's still there. <laughs> okay. Go away, go away, go away, go away. It's like an antelope and a lever. Look at it. So this is our room. Okay, so we have two beds and it's kind of weird. So this is the bathroom over here. There's a bathtub. And then over here is two sinks. The other side of this are the two beds. This is the shower, which is pretty big. This is the toilet and it's got the same door. So there's no privacy here, guys. <laughs> No privacy, because the shower and the bathroom are both like that. There's no lock on the doors. 
and there's no door to the bathroom so it's kind of weird and then over here is our balcony which we've put some clothes out to dry but this is our view so we arrived late last night um, in Cancun. I think we arrived at our hotel at like 11.30 and the flight was fine. There was no issues there. But when we got there, the line for customs was ridiculous. We ended up being stuck in customs for like two hours. And not only was it just like a long line, it was just chaotic. So before you even got to the line for customs, there was a huge crowd and we had to like shove our ways in basically. And it was really hot and like Lincoln was, the kids were freaking out because they were tired. It was late and like Lincoln was like sweating. Like he was like hyperventilating. And the weird part too was when we first got there, there was like a room with like a frosted glass door and there was like two security or whatever airport workers standing there guarding it and there was people on the other side banging at it like rhythmically like bang 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 for like half an hour i think very consistently too like at that rhythm and like the doors were like shaking but like no there was no talking no yelling there was no noise and then like anytime someone tried to like film it they would like tell them not to film it and they were just and they just kept me like move along move along but we couldn't move along because we were like stuck in a line and it was super like this is our first time in cancun and that was like our entrance coming in was that happening and then also before we got in the line i went to the washroom and there was literally all the stalls that were free were f full of <laughs> like some people had some major issues because mm -hmm. literally like six stalls I walked into was like oh my god like it was really bad so that happened and then this whatever was happening behind that door and it was creepy because we're like standing next to it because we're, we're stuck we can't go anywhere right so you're just standing there and then they won't let you film it. They won't they won't answer or say anything about it. Like nope and there's like nobody coming along to like help or say anything. So it's just like it was really eerie. And then finally I saw these girls getting escorted. Like they were like in their pajamas or whatever. And they have like these de rooms that they detain people. And every room was like full because you could see it. They're all glass rooms. So I think those pajama girls were the ones that were banging on the door. I think that's what I heard from other people in the crowd. And we were stuck in customs for over two hours. And the whole time we're freaking out about our shuttle because we came here on our own. And um, we booked like our own um, private shuttle to take us to our hotel. And I could like I had messed up my data provide like I, I had installed an eSIM, but it wasn't working. So I couldn't even get data data to like call them to say that like we're delayed in customs. But the weird thing is that like they were calling us, but every time I go pick it up, I can't hear anybody. Finally, we were like almost at the end of the customs, almost at the end of the time the shuttle was waiting, that finally I heard someone talking. They're like, yeah, we're waiting for you outside. Like, are you guys okay? And we're like, yeah, we're stuck in customs. We're gonna be out soon. Can you just wait for us? And he's like, oh, I don't know. Like he's been waiting for an hour, blah, blah, blah. I'll see what we can do. So we get out, we run. It's like five minutes after the end of the time the shuttle guy would wait. We get to the shuttles and the guy left and then they wrote in the note that we were no show. So we call him and he's like, oh, yeah, you guys are no show. It's like, well, I just told you we we're stuck in customs, right? Like, anyways, we ended up having to take a random taxi here. So that shuttle was like a round way. trip. So they're going to pick us up at the end of this trip. And um, it was like one hundred and sixty dollars. And so because we had to pay for a taxi to come here on our own that taxi just one way here was like 140 dollars so we try calling today to say like can we get some of our money back like what the hell like it wasn't our fault it was customs and they're like oh yeah no we can't like you guys were no show like blah 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 like anyways <laughs> yeah ken was very heated about it and end of the story is that we're not getting anything back and and there was no Concern. Yeah, it was just really unfortunate. That was our entrance here. Yeah, so, anyways, uh, today we woke up, we had breakfast, we 
went to the pool with the kids and we actually just dropped them off at the kids club. Hopefully they pick me up after I yell at them. Yes. <laughs> they better pick us up. We have gelato. Avery, what did you get? You got strawberry? Yeah, I got strawberry ice. Can I try some? Yeah. Here you go. It's got little bits of coconut. Ooh. Can I try? Mmm. Yeah, uh, yeah. I like that. I already Lincoln Do you like the coconut? Mm, like Can I try your lemon, Lincoln? Oh, And then I made this one. And it's raining right now. We're stuck under here. We're under this thing here. And we got rained out of our craft. And daddy is... There he is. <laughs> hey, Avery's painting. What are you painting, Avery? <laughs> Hi. Hi. Is it too bright? <laughs> Hi, mommy. Hi, guys. How is the trip so far? Good. Lincoln, Mr. Mr. Chill. I know. Look at him. <laughs> he belongs in the sun. Living life. Yeah, I know. Hey, look at this guy. He's so relaxed. Light. Oh, it's a 
<laughs> Is it good? Yeah? Do you want more? No. <laughs> You say, well, how, what does it taste like? Coconut. <laughs> That's it? There's little bits of coconut in it too. Little bits of coconut, okay. Mmm. Mm. 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 <laughs> it's very rich. How do you feel? Very rich. Is it good? Yeah? Another do you one? want more? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you got a brain freeze? <laughs> oh yeah, Avery wants to try some ice cream. Mm -mm. Oh my. It's only the boys. I'm just kidding. Yeah. Only for, no. no. Let her have some. Oh, it's squishy. Like jelly. <laughs> yeah, you didn't tell me what it tastes like. What does it taste like? Sour and sweet. And it's just like very jelly. Very jello -y. Yeah. Okay. Let me try now and see what it tastes like. Mmm. <laughs> right. mm. It's really good. It's like sweet, sweet, sour, and very jello -y. That you just copied me! <laughs> Get our wine. Cheers. So I just gave it to her. We are just sitting at the cafe because it's raining right now. We're stuck here. It's been raining for a while. Earlier we were by the pool and we sat under one of those like beds. When there was a break in the rain, we came here to have some ice cream. It's strawberry. Yeah. And it's covered here so we're protected from the rain. Daddy and Lincoln went snorkeling. So I don't know how that's going for them. I guess we'll find out when they come back but yeah we're just kind of hanging out here for now until the rain stops and then maybe we'll go and eat lunch but Oh, mommy. Is it my turn? Yes, sir. My turn. 
Just waiting to leave the resort right now.